What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. Hope everybody's having an awesome morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever it is that you're watching this video. Guys, we have some information about updates coming to the game. I know some of y'all may have already seen this already. A little late to the party, guys. I have to work. I'm not a full-time YouTuber yet, so I can't always get news to y'all as soon as others, but it is perfectly fine. Um, so they're doing some updates. They're going to be doing some updates to the game as we expected, guys. It's a live service game. Updates are going to come. Let's go over them really quick. Dynasty is an unintentionally designed, is intentionally designed in a way where the back end system will create organic and dynamic situations that lead to branching stories. Basically, what they're saying, guys, is everybody's not going to get the same experience in Dynasty mode. We can all play with the exact same teams. And we won't all get the same experience. What they mean by that is if I'm playing with Alabama, okay, on the other side of the world, Oregon, other side of the United States, Oregon is not going to have the same season in my dynasty than it is in yours. Georgia in my dynasty is not going to have the exact same season as yours. It's not pre-planned. It's very organic. I mean, these things are completely random and it's made that way for realism. All right. So. Um, I actually started a little bit low. I'm sorry, y'all. EA Sports released future updates here. College Football 25 has its global release day Friday. EA Sports has posted a long list of notes of what the team is working on for updates and patches to the game. Okay, These future notes include general audio, dynasty mode, team builder, and more. General gameplay notes, road to glory, etc. weren't mentioned. However, it could be expected that those will also see changes when the first title update to College Football 25 drops. Now, we don't know when this is going to drop, but guys, it's expected. Y'all know they're going to update stuff. Y'all know they're going to fix stuff. You know, complaining about certain things saying, oh, the game is bad because of this or that. Why not just message the devs or message EA or post and say, is this going to be patched in later updates? You know what I'm saying? The, some of the stuff we're not happy or excited with with the game, these things can be patched and fixed. As far as you being bad at the game, that's not going to get patched. Y'all can adjust your sliders to give you a different gameplay experience. That being said, let's go on. Aside from the future update notes, the developer also clarified some things surrounding Dynasty Mode itself. Specifically, the detail they detailed how various factories can impact how your dynasty plays out compared to someone else's. There are many factors that play in dynasty mode that can create ripple effects. Injuries, players going pro early, transfers, strong or weak recruiting classes, upsets, and more, they said. The beauty of the mode is that two different users can begin playing dynasty as the same school, but over multiple years, their college football 25 world can develop notable differences. And that's what I was just reading about early. It's just a different experience. And I don't think anybody would expect otherwise in that. Be that as it may, college football 25 future update notes, audio, incorrect commentary when playing as the first game of the season in Dynasty at Utah. Florida State's war chant and Tennessee's Rocky Top are not audible when playing only on Xbox Series S and I wonder how much them making this game for Xbox Series S has affected the development. Because we know, as gamers, Xbox Series X is holding back the Xbox Series X. It's holding it back. It's holding back next gen. Logos. The following team slash conferences have incorrect logos. Stanford. I didn't know Stanford had an incorrect logo. I never paid attention to it and I played them before. UMass. Western Michigan, which is interesting. Don't they just have the big W? Or is that Wyoming? Jacksonville State, FIU, New Mexico, the SEC, Conference USA, and the Sun Belt. Ah, see, I didn't notice that they had incorrect logos. I didn't pay attention to that. UTEP and Wyoming display incorrect athletic branding on their equipment in Dynasty. Visual issues with conference patches when changing a small subset of teams conference in Dynasty. Dynasty mode fixes. Super Sim Logic tuning. The team is looking into turn tuning of the Super Sim Logic, including FCS schools upsetting too many Power 5 schools. We know that upsets happen. Appalachian State used to be one of those FCS schools that upset Michigan. But in reality, these don't happen a lot. Now, I will say this. You are starting to see more FCS schools actually compete. But them beating a Power 5 school 
it does it rarely happens guys and so they are patching that because people have noticed that in simming fcs schools were beating teams like alabama and stuff like that okay um note as we continue internal testing on the tuning of super sim logic top 25 polls in the college football playoff seating will also see an improvement because i know people were upset as well saying like teams losing six games were still ranked higher um, and being in the playoffs and different things like that, which they're working on that. And that's just good news that they're communicating these things and that they're working on uh, fixes and things like that for stuff like that. That's just, you know, kudos to them. They, they should. Yeah, hopefully this makes some people happy. Um, issues when adding additional teams to the Pac-12 conference when using custom conference does not generate a new conference schedule as intended. The workaround, which they're giving us workarounds until these patches come out for the most part. adding After adding teams to the Pac-12, open the conference rules and set divisions to on. Users will see they can now set the number of conference games by toggling back and forth. All right. Users can then disable divisions and edit other settings as desired. I like that they give you a workaround, a workaround for this until they fix it. Issues with modified conference rules not saving. The workaround is users can recenter the conference rules screen to ensure their settings were saved and are valid. If they did not save, then the rules are not valid with the current setup. All right. And then occasionally when a recruit and this has happened to me in, in Dynasty, I've experienced this one myself. Occasionally, when a recruit reaches the top five stage, it will not display the recruit is ready for a visit despite meeting the requirements. I've actually missed out on a few recruits because of this, because I wasn't able to. Well, I like to think I missed out on them because I wasn't able to schedule a visit. I ended up signing with a different team. So I'm glad that they're going to be patching that. That's not a workaround for it, unfortunately, but it is what it is. And then also recruiting tuning. The team has planned additional tuning to recruiting logic. What that logic is. I don't know, maybe because some of the smaller schools are still able to get these four and five stars a tad bit easier. Small chance of a freeze when simulating individual plays quickly after exiting Super Sim. The workaround. Wait a couple of seconds in between simulating the individual plays before exiting Super Sim. So it's almost like a, a data overload. You're, if people are just Super Simming an individual play, it just freezes up the game. The issue, issue with the practice tile, I've had this one as well. Remember, we couldn't figure this out. I was like, where is practice? Do we need to play a game first or whatever? And I had to go into a game kind of blind with a playbook that I didn't actually want to run because of this. I'm glad they have a workaround with it. Um, issues with practice tile not initially appearing in the team tab. The workaround right now, guys, is to exit the mode and then re-enter. Yes, it is inconvenient, but they are working to fix it. Current maximum cap of 20 created coaches instead of the intended 32 created coaches. This is for uh, online dynasty mode. Note, the team is targeting Tuesday for an issue fix that limits dynasties to 20 coaches, created coaches. A current workaround is using existing coaches in the remaining spots to reach 32. Player jersey and or overalls changing when editing certain players gear. Never had that issue, but I get it. And then team builder. Now, I know you're going to say, man, are they going to change this or that? Are they going to add certain things to the game? This is patch updates. Now, one thing that I wish that they would add to the game is adding formation subs outside of in game because in in the game guys you can do formation subs the issue is you run out of time if you don't know exactly what player you need to sub out and get the one that you need put in for that particular formation you'll mess around and get a delay of game penalty but guys this is kind of realistic to football because and i know people are gonna like me saying this but if you're trying to sub in a player on a particular formation, it is going to take time. Now, are you going to get a delay of game penalty? Likely not. It's like, hey, DM, we need you in a quarterback on this formation. Go in. 
on this formation. This is a very simple fix. But I, I really wish that they would add um, formation subs like they have in every football game that we've had. Do you know what I'm saying? That way on certain formations, I can go ahead and put that in and I don't have to risk getting a delay a game. So until they add that in the game, the workaround is just to do it on the play call screen by pushing triangular substitution, going to that particular player and subbing them in. Now, once you have them in on that formation, they're in. But you'll have to do that every game for that particular formation. Um, current maximum, I read that. Players' jerseys. All right, team builder. When using a team builder play in team builder team in play now, cleats are defaulted to Adidas regardless of selected brand apparel. No, this does not impact team builder teams used in Dynasty. Second, custom image, second custom image layer not appearing on the field. Uh, I've had that issue when I was trying to create the school. It wouldn't come up. The workaround is add a second layer, then select a generic image, and then re-select your custom image. That's a good workaround because I was trying to do that for my team, and I was like, I cannot get it to load. Any, are there any specific issues you'd want to see addressed in future updates to College Football 25? For more insider gaming, read about the low player number for the Concord Open Beta. I, I, I don't even know what that is. But this is posted by Mike Straw. I, I really think um, as far as stuff that I, they need to add, I would really I would really like for them to add formation subs into the game. Also, I like to run the veer and shoot. The veer and shoot is an amazing offense. But if you saw my video from the other day, whenever you're in the standard camera and you put it in coach cam where you can see the entire field, they need to put that regular cam into the game. I'm gonna tweet. Um, I'm gonna tweet out to O'Gallagher, and I'm gonna see. You know, I don't know if he'll pay attention or not, but I'm gonna tweet him. He does follow me on Twitter, and I'm gonna tell him like, "Hey, the Vera shooter is an amazing offense, but there are no. There's only one. The wide camera does show it, but it is still awkward in some positions." Can we get the coach cam? Because no matter where you're at on the field, the coach cam zooms out in a way to where you can literally see from sideline to sideline. The problem with the wide camera is it say, for example, I'm on the left hash of the football field. It doesn't fully show me everything on the right. It's still almost out of frame, if that makes sense. And once the ball is snapped, it can create issues. So I really hope that a workaround or that they actually implement a better cam. I'm going to try to push that they get Coach Cam into the game as a standard camera. Because when people like myself that run the beer and shoot offense, now I can see what's going on on the outside edge. Especially when I'm running those RPO hitches and stuff like that. So that formation subs. Um, and as far as people, uh, you know, people are saying defense is hard to play in the game, you know, play with the sliders as much as possible. I will say this guys, if you, it's easier to play on all American difficulty and adjust your sliders to make computer better competitive than to play on Heisman. To me, Heisman mode, and I've told y'all this before, Heisman mode is just like playing on freaking all Madden. It, it just makes the game crazy unrealistic because the team you're playing against is just stupid difficult like it, it's not that it makes the other team difficult it just it's like the game purposely makes your players worse and from what i've been reading people have having issues like fumbling for no reason on big time plays running into the kicker happens from the cpu and different things like that i haven't had that experience playing on all american and it's really weird you'll blow out some teams and you'll have close games against some teams it's very mixed but what i've noticed is you know, all American is a sweet spot. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you're struggling on Heisman and the game is not playing like you would like it, play on all American. You can always make the defense or the other team. You can always make the CPU better by upgrading their 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 sliders and lowering yours. But I have noticed as well, even in upgrading the pass protection all the way. It, 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 it doesn't make your pass protection or your run game OP. Like, they still get through. They still create pressure. They still get sacks. Play with the sliders, guys. Don't, you know, it's okay to complain about something, but the game literally gives you the tools to adjust the gameplay to your liking, okay? One of the bigger issues I'll cover later is 
the pursuit angles of the of the AI. Now, I have seen that to kind of become an issue where they will be taking the right angle at the right time. And then it's like they just run flat for no reason at all. Now, there is the um, the heat seeker in the options tab of the game, but it's turned off. I don't know. I'm going to try and turn it on and see if that corrects it, because what it helps you do is to when you're close to a player, steer you in the right direction to make the tackle you still have to make the tackle and still have to make the play but it steers you in the right direction perhaps that's why that's happening i don't know we will see play with it and find out let me know what y'all think about the updates anything that y'all would like that i could you know probably talk you know reach out to old gallagher about on twitter or whatever and see if that's something that they could patch or add into the game let me know in the comment section down below guys till next time y'all thanks for watching peace